a free e-commerce website? Really? What's up guys, it's Paul from Ecommerce Gold. Now I don't wanna sound like one of those internet gurus out there, but in this video, I am gonna show you how you can build an e-commerce website for free. And it is 100% free. So you get your web hosting, you get a website builder, and you also get a domain name for free. Now, for this video, I'm just gonna do a quick overview of how this platform works. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial. That is something I do plan to do in the future. But with the introduction out of the way, let's jump into my computer so we can get this video started. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to a website called Equid. Now, I will leave my link in the description below and it's very much appreciated if you do go through that link because it does help me and the channel out massively. But you wanna to go to the Equid website and you wanna click on the Get Started for Free button in the top right-hand corner. So when you click that button, it'll bring up this page. Now on this page, all you need to sign up to the free account is you need to enter your name, enter your email address and create a password. And once you've done that, you are good to go. It will take you through to your Equid dashboard. And on your first sign-in, you'll be greeted by this to-do list. And this is basically a quick setup guide to help you get up and running with the Equid store. And when you first sign in, I would recommend going through this because it is a good way to learn the platform. But I'm gonna show you a little bit on how to do each of these things so you have a little bit more knowledge rather than just going through and signing up and trying it all for yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new product. So for that, we go to catalog, and then we click add new product. And what we're gonna create is a signet ring because for those who don't know, I am actually a jeweler as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click upload image to start with and we're gonna find the image. So once the image has been uploaded, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a name for it. So we'll call it a signet ring. You can add a SKU code if you want. You can also add weight as well. This is if you're selling products where your shipping is gonna be based on the weight, but for a lot of products, this isn't really gonna matter. Now, one thing you will see throughout the Equid dashboard is you'll see these stars appear. And what these are is basically just showing you things that are available if you go on to one of the play plans. These are features that aren't available on the free plan. But we're gonna ignore those for a minute. So we've added the title and then we're just gonna add a quick description. This is a signet ring. And then as you can see, there's more things underneath that are available on the paid plan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click save. So that's created the product. And then under attributes, what you can do is you can add a unique product code. So this is basically a barcode. You can also add a brand if you want to, if you're selling branded products. If you go into options, you can add options. So if for this ring, we wanted to add different sizes, what we can do is we can click put size in there, radio buttons, and then we can add a new value. So we'll do a size L. These are UK sizes, by the way. Add another one. Um, and add another one N. Once you've done that, click save and these options will appear on the product page and I'll show you exactly what the product will look like in a minute. Now there's things like files that you can't add because that's limited to the paid products. You can set your taxes and shipping so you can set the global shipping rates. Now in a little bit in this video, I am gonna show you how to set up like a global shipping option within the Equid dashboard or you can set individual options. So you can select a specific method, you can select a fixed rate for it or you can select free shipping. You can also set up your tax as well which you have to do by going into the settings section. Now, one thing you can't do on the free plan is edit your SEO. That's only available on the paid plans. You also have related products. So if you've got another product that's similar, you can add that in as well. And the buy button is if you wanna use Equid on another platform. Now, the one thing I forgot to do was add a price. So if we add $100 to that and then click save, that product is now finished. So now we're gonna see what it looks like in the front end of your site. So in these options here, you've got the preview product and you can also open it in your storefront. So if we click preview, it'll bring up a quick preview of what this looks like in the front end. And as you can see, the options appear here for the different sizes. So this is something you can add is options, but you can't add variations. So variations with pictures. So if I wanted to do this ring in yellow gold, white gold and rose gold, I can't do that on the free plan. That's only available on the paid option, which is the business plan or higher. So come out of that, that product is now finished. It's on the main website. So if we open it in the storefront, as you go through to the front end of the website, you can see that this product is now listed. So there it is, lovely product. So we'll come out of that. 
Now, one thing you may want to do is create categories for your products. So if you go onto categories, then click on add new category. So if we add rings, for example, means we've just added a ring. So click rings and then click save and you'll add that option to your category menu. So then if we go back into products, go back in and edit the product, we can then assign this product to a category. So we click sign category, click on rings, and then click save, and then that's been added to the rings category. Now, this isn't a major thing categories on the free plan because you're only gonna have up to 10 products. But if you're using this as like a proof of concept and you're gonna take this onto the next level, it's something that you may wanna consider doing from the get-go. Then the next thing I'm gonna talk about is getting your store's settings configured. Because this is really important because you wanna make sure all this is ready and in place before your site goes live. So for this, what we're gonna do is gonna go down to settings, and then we're gonna go into the general settings. So for this, you can set your store name, and then you've got your store URL. Now, what I like about the Equid URL is it's .company.site. There's no branding in the URL like you get with something like with Big Cartel, where it'll be your subdomain .bigcartel.com. With Equid, it's basically almost white label because no one's gonna know who this belongs to unless they build e-commerce websites. The next thing is you wanna set up your company name and email, and then set up your company address. You can then link your social media accounts to your Equid site, which is useful if you've got a good social media following. And the last thing in the store settings is whether your storefront is open or not. Now, if you wanna keep it closed until you're ready to start accepting orders, what you wanna do is just click storefront is closed for maintenance. And then once you're all ready to go live, just revert this and say your storefront is open. That's basically how simple it is to be live and not live on the Equid platform. Other things you wanna set up are taxes if you have to do that, and then you've got your legal pages. This is something you do wanna make sure is set up properly. So with your legal pages, you've got your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, your shipping and payment information, your returns policy, and then you can create an about me page if you want. Now the first two, which are the terms, conditions, and privacy policy are things you definitely do wanna set up because these are basically legal requirements for every e-commerce website. And they're there to not only protect the customer, but also protect you as a business as well. So make sure you get these set up and they're also legally correct before you go live as well, because it's gonna add another layer of protection for you and your business and just to be kind to your customer basically the shipping information and returns policy just adds more transparency to your website so it's worth getting those set up as well and the about page is always useful because it gives a little bit of insight into you and the business so once you've gone through that what you want to do next is set up your payment gateways and once again this is free to do because there's two main options I would recommend for this. The first one is setting up Stripe. So go to Stripe, sign up, and then connect your Equid site to your Stripe account, and then set up PayPal as well. Basically, these two are gonna cover the majority of e-commerce payments you're gonna to need to receive, and they're both free to set up and free to use. They're basically on a pay-as-you-go uh, business model, so you only pay a transaction fee when you actually make a sale. Really, really good. So the next thing you wanna do is get your shipping set up. Now, we already saw in the Add New Product page that you can set shipping on a product-by-product -product basis, but you can actually set a global shipping policy for your website. And for this, you wanna go into Shipping and Pickup, now, as you see, there's a couple of different options. And one thing that Equid does offer, which is really good if you have a bricks and mortar website, is you can actually do a pickup. So you can have a click and collect service, basically. And people can schedule a pickup time. It's really, really good if you've got a physical store. But if you're just gonna be selling online, then you wanna add a shipping method. So what we're gonna do is click add shipping. And what Equid will do is it will recognize the country that you're in and it will list the main carriers within your country. So I'm based in the UK, so it's come up with Royal Mail, which is our national carrier. But if you're based in the US, it will come up with the US options. If it's Canada, it will come up with Canadian options if they're available. And what you can do is you can set up basically shipping methods through these carriers. So Royal Mail, what we'll do is click up Set Up Royal Mail. And the first thing you can do is you can automatically calculate your shipping from your shipping partner. I wouldn't do this personally because I prefer to have more control over the shipping and basically how I'm gonna portray this to the customer because automatically calculating rates could lead to some potentially nasty surprises when a customer goes through the checkout. So that's why I prefer to control it and do it manually. So this is where we're gonna look at these other options. Now you can set up free shipping, which is a free shipping across the board, which a lot of companies are gonna go with because it's a basically a marketing ploy. 
The next one is conditional free shipping. And this is a good way to increase like the average order value you're gonna get on your website. So if you go up to set up conditional free shipping, you can basically set up a range where if your customer order falls in this range, so on this example, it's between three and $29.99, the customer will pay $3 shipping. But if their order value was $30 or more, then they would get free shipping. And this is a really good way to incentivize your customers to order that little bit more from you so they get free shipping. Great marketing tactic. But other methods you can set up is you can set up a flat rate. So if you want to charge, say, $5 across all of your products, you can do that under the flat rate. And then you can set custom rates. Now, under the custom rates, this is something you can do either on the value of the cart, so similar to the conditional free shipping, if you want to set a range. So if a customer spent up to $30, it would be $5 shipping. If they spent between $30 and $60, this would drop to $3 shipping. You can do this by using the subtotal amount and you can set the range and set the price per order. Or you can do it based on weight, which was the weight option I showed you in the add new product page. And this way, if you've got certain items that are gonna cost more to ship because they're heavier or you need to use a different shipping method, then you can do this by using this weight range. It's really good if you're selling things like furniture and things like that, they're a bit awkward, they're gonna cost a little bit more to ship. So the final thing we're gonna look at for this quick tutorial, and as I said, this is a quick tutorial, I'm just giving you the basics of how you can actually do this, is to basically make your website look nice. So for this, we're gonna go into website, I'm gonna leave this page, and then we're gonna go onto the edit site. And this brings up the front end of your website with a live customizer, basically. Now what you can do is you can change the theme. So when you click themes, you'll be displayed with all these different options. Now, one thing I do just wanna say with these themes is they're not like complete themes. They don't change the complete look of your website. They basically just change the header section. All these sections at the bottom stay the same. The only change is the header section, but it can still be made to make your website look a bit more custom and a bit more suited to your business and brand. Other things you can do on this is you can basically edit which sections are visible to your customers. So if you need to add a mission statement, you could do that by adding this section and it will add a section to your website. So you go, this is a mission statement. Click save, it adds that section to the front end of your website. And what you can also do with these is you can arrange the sections. So you can drag these up and down so they appear where you want them to on your page. So this is how you customize the front end of your website and what appears on the front end of your website. And once you've got it set up so you're happy with it, just click apply and then click save and it will save the layout of your store. Very simple, very easy to do. Now there are some other options when it comes to customizing the look and feel of your website. So we'll come out of the theme editor and we'll actually go into the design section. And you can change different things throughout your website. So you can change the image size, so you can change it from a medium size to a large size if you want to, so you have bigger images. You can change the aspect ratio of your pictures. Then you can change the layer of your product cards. So you can change where all this information appears. So you can change it to the left, you can change it to the right, or you can have it in the center, or you can justify it so it all appears in one line. There's also some options as to how, what appears and what doesn't appear on your site. And then you've got some options for your category names, and then you've got your product page layer option. So you can change it from something that looks like this. So you've got two columns, so you can change it so the description disappears down below the images. Basically, there's just different options that you can click and play around with. So it makes the website look and feel the way you want it to. Then you can change how the images appear. So if you don't want them to appear here, you want them to appear on the side, you can do it like that. And then you can choose by just ticking and unticking these boxes, what you want to appear in this sidebar. And then there's some options for your store navigation menu and a few more options down here. Now, if you want to, you can basically create your own CSS theme if you've used the coding, but most people won't be able to do that. That's a very specialized skill. But if you do know CSS, you can create your own theme, which is a very useful feature to have. But basically that's how you customize the look and feel of your website. There's not a massive amount of options with the theme customizer because it's pretty simple and it's designed to be very straightforward to use. So there you go. That is how you can build an e-commerce website 100% for free. 
Now, this was only a quick, basically, tutorial on how you can set up an Equid website. There's plenty more features available with Equid. There's lots of integrations with social media profiles, so you can link to Facebook, Instagram, plenty of different things so you can create much more than just a basic website. You can create lots of sales channels with Equid. It's a really good proposition. Now, as I say, if you want to check out Equid for yourself, I'll leave my link in the description, and it really is appreciated if you do go through that link. Now, another great thing with Equid is, is if your website starts to take off, you start generating sales and you want to grow, they do have a really good selection of paid packages. But the Equid website builder is a little bit limited, but this is where it becomes a very useful tool because you can actually integrate Equid into other platforms. So if you wanted something with more customization options, more design options, so something like WordPress or Wix, you can actually build a website on them using your own custom domain name, and then you can actually bring your Equid website into those platforms. So potentially this combination of Equid and WordPress or Equid and Wix could be a very, very good e-commerce solution for a growing business. And it is something you may want to consider if your website starts to grow. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please drop a like on the video because it does help the channel out massively. Also consider subscribing because I post e-commerce related content on a weekly basis. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.